Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. So this is going to be a little bit of a different video. I thought it would be fun to just talk to you guys a little bit about blanket yarn and what I have learned and some, I guess, tips, maybe some advice that I have for you guys. So this was actually a requested video and it was requested by Lori K. She is sunshine grotto arts and um lori is so sweet she's super super sweet she's always commenting on my videos and um i i do notice like when consistent like people comment on videos and it's so i love it because it definitely i feel like um there's a bond there so i want to thank lori so much thank you for always supporting me and thank you for always being so kind to me and um yeah, so uh, you asked for this and this video is especially for you, but definitely for everyone else as well. But just a little uh, way of saying thank you so much for always being so, so sweet and supportive of me. So yeah, let's talk about blanket yarn. So I have a skein of blanket yarn here. Um, this is Bernat Blanket Stripes and... Um, I love blanket yarn so much, so, so much. It is just, it's so nice, it's so soft. As you can see, the majority of my yarn is um, like worsted weight yarn, it's not blanket, but I would one day like to change that and have a bunch more blanket yarn. Um, this was actually gifted to me by Valerie from Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet and Sewing. If you uh, aren't familiar with her channel, definitely go check her out. I will link her uh, videos and her channel in the description box below. Um, yeah, go check her out. <laughs> you'll love her. She's so sweet. Um, you'll love her channel for sure. But so blanket yarn is one of my favorite yarns to work with, but I don't really work with it often because personally, I don't have um, a lot of it. But Lori was asking, when you start with blanket yarn, how do you know like how much to buy or what hook sizes to use and different things like that? So personally, you could do it like two different ways, I guess. Um, you could, the way I did it when I wanted um, blanket yarn back a couple years ago, um, I just picked out a couple colors that I liked and I decided that I think I got like two or three skeins during Black Friday. Um, so it was like a pretty good sale. I think around the best price you can get for like a skein of blanket yarn is like $5.99. I think it's 5 or $6.99. I haven't bought it in quite some time. But they're originally $10, 9 or $10. Um, and then you can get them on sale with like coupons and things like that at Joann's and Michael's um so yeah I picked out a couple different skeins when I first started just because I liked the colors um but you can definitely choose to you know find a pattern first and then um go out and buy specific yarns for that pattern especially if you're just starting um you know, it might be hard if you like buy yarn first and then look for a pattern and then realize like those colors don't really go too well with that pattern. So yeah, there's those two different ways of doing it, definitely. Um, I guess I would probably recommend finding a pattern first and then buying yarn um, if you only wanted to buy a couple skeins or else like if you have the ability to buy as much yarn as you want, buy one of each color <laughs> but if you probably can't like most people just you can only get a couple colors then I guess I would recommend again to find a pattern and then go out and probably get like a skein of each of the colors that you need um yeah there's no like exact way to tell you how much to start with but that's what I would recommend um so that way when you finish that one project you have the leftovers from that project. You have the leftover yarn and um, you can just buy for whatever project you keep um, getting, like whatever project you wanna start, you can just keep buying some new yarn and then slowly you will 
accumulate <laughs> um, some different blanket yarn. So that's a fun way to do it. Definitely, if you're gonna like buy a bunch though, I would probably wait till like the store has a big sale. I wouldn't get it regular price just cause that would be a killer cause it's around $10 a skein regular price. So yeah, um, that is um, advice on yarn, I guess. So for hook sizes, this varies a lot. I would definitely play around with it. And I know that sounds kind of boring because when you want to sit down and create a project, like work on a project, you want to get started on it right away. But I can tell you that it's more frustrating to start on a project and say you're halfway on the head and you realize your tension just is not working, the hook size is not working for that project, and you have to rip it out. That's more frustrating than doing like a little, um, like a tiny little ball, a little project to see what hook size works best for you. Like a project that isn't necessarily what you wanna do, but it's one to see what hook size works for your tension using blanket yarn. So I have, definitely changed the hook size that I use. I used a 10 millimeter. This is a N hook. It's a boy hook. I love these hooks so much with the grip. Um, I used to use this when I first started with blanket yarn. This was the biggest hook that I had and um, yeah, I used to really enjoy using it. But my tension, um, it got tighter and this would leave holes. Now, if I use it, this leaves holes. Unless if I'm having like a really off day because sometimes that does happen or my tension is weird. Um, I don't really use this too often anymore. The smallest hook that I will use for, for blanket yarn is a K, a 6.5 millimeter hook. So it's kind of rubbing off. <laughs> I'm sure the number won't be on there for too long um because they do tend to rub off that's the only downside to these hooks but um this is the smallest that I would use I don't really use this too often but it's like I have used it before um with blanket yarn my go-to hook size I think I would say is like a a nine millimeter I don't have it with me because it's a uh, I actually don't know where it is right now, so I might have to buy another one. Um, it's not one with a grip, though. I think I bought that hook separately on its own. I know it's a boy hook, but I do typically use a 9 millimeter hook, I'm pretty sure. So I will double check. If it's different than a 9 millimeter hook, then I'll like make a note of it and put it on the screen, but I'm pretty sure that's what I use. However, like I said, sometimes my tension is different on different days and I could like jump back to those hooks at any time. It just really depends. So I would definitely recommend um, checking, checking your gauge, checking your, well, not necessarily your gauge, but your tension when you're, um, you know, if you're going to make amigurumi because gauge doesn't really matter unless when you're making amigurumi, unless if you're trying to get it to be like a specific size. But most amigurumi patterns don't even talk about gauge because it's like it doesn't really matter too much. But um, yeah, <laughs> definitely check with different um, hooks and see what works best for you. I would definitely recommend those three, the 10 millimeter, a 6.5, and then a nine millimeter hook. And you can like do ones in between that too. I definitely would work with some in between that if those aren't working for me. Like if, you know, if something's too tight or something's too uh, loose, then find a middle. So um, that is all I think I can say like when beginning with, um, when starting off with blanket yarn. Um, I don't think there's too much more to say. Definitely try to get your yarn on sale if possible. I mean, if you really, really, really want to go buy some yarn, like, of course you can do that too. But if you're trying to um, get like build up a stash, I would uh, honestly, what I did is like to build up my stash, I went like 
consistently consistently <laughs> to the stores um and i would use my coupon like a couple times a week to get um skeins of yarn and then the hobby lobby sale really helped me too <laughs> i still have some of that uh, i have yarn from like when big twist discontinued a bunch of colors um yeah but that's off topic <laughs> um that is it for blanky yarn if i miss anything though Lori, please feel free to let me know and i will try to cover that in another video and if anyone else of course um this video is absolutely for everyone for all my subscribers um and non-subscribers too this is for everyone um uh, hopefully i was able to help you guys but if there was a question that you have um please feel free to let me know and hopefully i can like go back to that and cover it because i am here to help you guys and i love crocheting i love talking with you guys and helping you guys so feel free to let me know if you guys have any questions that's that's what i'm here for um so thank you so much for stopping by and um if you guys liked the video please uh leave a heart and um i guess like the video and if you're not subscribed already i would absolutely love to have you guys in my family my little uh, youtube family so please subscribe if you're not already and yeah i'm trying to um put out some more some different type of videos like these if there's anything else it doesn't have to do with blanket yarn but with crocheting that you would love to um know more about that i can maybe help you guys with feel free to let me know about that too that's again that's what i'm here for so thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me i will see you guys in the next video bye